Welcome to our sixth video on the intimacy journey. It's flying by. Now today's is really exciting because yeah. it's all about how to fix your mate. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> you mean I'm not supposed to fix you? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> We wanted to talk a little bit about where we really get stuck in relationships and where we usually do is we start to run into some friction. Yeah, I mean normally a date, actually a couple dates in, it normally doesn't take too long. It doesn't take a long time. And uh, you know the other thing is, I mean I look back at my own past, I think about all the dating relationships I've had or in my marriage, I kind of see a disturbing trend and that is I do try to fix my mate. Um, I think we all do. I think we all, it's easier to see the faults in other people and to focus on what we'd like them to change. But the best relationships are when you can focus on yourself and all of your energy on what can you do to make yourself better. I mean, one of the things that I've really loved about our relationship is as we've approached it, we've been very honest with who we are. Mm -hmm. Uh, you tried to scare me off originally. <laughs> really hard. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and in that, there was a reason that we could actually be that way in terms of, hey, this is who I am versus, hey, what's wrong with you? You know, I don't like this or, you know, you need to change this. It was just, this is who we are. And so it was less about trying to change a person or make them someone else and just the journey of discovering who we were, are. And accepting, accepting the person. If you want to be in a relationship with them, you're going to accept every part of them, except for who they are, except for who the Creator made them to be. Absolutely, and you know, I mean, I, I think about what is it that's made the difference for you and I of being able to to walk that way. And I know for myself, it really has been having to come through a, a big struggle of um, what what are my failures. What, what are the negative voices that I've had all my life, including my own negative voice, that have caused me to have a bad perception of myself and, and to think less of myself? Because normally, most what I've seen about, for instance, bullies, is they tear people down because they feel bad about themselves. Mm -hmm. They try to get people to be less than them so they can feel better about themselves. I think we do that in relationships, too. When we're struggling with self-esteem or we're struggling with some component of who we are, we tend to lash out at the other person because we want to divert attention from our our fears and Ouch. our worries. You know what I just realized in many relationships I've been a relational bully. <laughs> that that stings. <laughs> but you know I, I think the the part for us and, and for me has been discovering what are those negative voices trying to to release those release those bad perceptions of even myself, of, of the shame of my own failures in, in my last marriage, and and recognize that in all of humanity there is, there is value, there's nobility, that if we can reach for that and we start to grasp that, hey, you know what, I am valuable, and we walk into a relationship that way, I don't have a heart to judge you. I want to accept you and embrace you because I'm very secure in who I am. So as you become secure in who you are, as you accept yourself, as you learn to shut down those negative voices that's telling yourself you're not good enough or you've done this wrong or that wrong, as you learn to fully accept yourself and accept that this other person is not there to meet your needs but to bless your life, then you put less pressure on them and you lash out at them less. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, the great thing about us, I mean, even even on this journey, in the last couple days, we've shared some pretty deep stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think about what gives us the ability to be so comfortable to be able to do that. I mean, we're, we're afraid sometimes, but we still share. I think it's because we recognize, you know what, I'm okay. I still have faults, I mess up, but... And so I can be secure enough to let you all the way in. And when you're doing something that I don't like, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to try to mold you and I make you someone you else. I do things you don't like. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've never seen you speechless. <laughs> if you are in a relationship and you have never run into any problems, let me tell you, 
You're not in a relationship. No, but I mean, the beautiful thing is we get to talk about everything in our life. And I love that. Um, it's hard sometimes. But it comes from a place of security of knowing our value and our worth. And in that, we don't judge each other. And we don't look for solutions in the other person. So, unfortunately, if you're watching this because you wanted to fix the other person, <laughs> then our advice is you've got to look at yourself. But if you do look at yourself, if you're willing to go the journey of understanding where are the failures and, and working through that, letting go of the shame, the pain, and, and recognizing forgiving yourself. Forgiving for me, it yourself. was forgiving myself Absolutely. for mistakes, forgiving myself for things I've dragged my children through, um, and, and being able to forgive yourself so that you can move forward in your second chance. And when you do that, you enter this whole new level of intimacy in a relationship that's, that's fantastic. I mean, that's what we're experiencing. And, and we invite you to experience the same thing. Now, when we talk about stuff like this, it brings up lots of questions. And we want every one of those questions. Send them in. We will answer almost every one. There's been a couple we haven't wanted to, but we'll get to them. We now. will get to them. <laughs> um, but, so keep them coming. Um, you're going to see us on YouTube and on Facebook, um, but make sure that you keep those coming to us. Um, it's been great to have you as part of the journey. Uh, make sure you're here for number seven. Absolutely. I'm going to go try to fix Vince now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to push her in the water behind me. See Have ya. a great day.